To solve any optimization problem, you want to read the question and then draw a picture based on the given information. Now this question describes a box that has a square base, an open top, and a specific volume of 32,000 cubic centimeters. So why don't we go ahead and try to draw a box based on those characteristics. Note that the top of the box is open, so there's no material right here. The question mentions that the base of this box is a square, so we can actually label the dimensions of the base as x and x. The height is uncertain to us as well, so we have to label that with a variable. It isn't necessarily x, though, because it didn't mention that the box was a cube, so we have to label that with a variable y. Now, after drawing a picture, you want to determine an equation that we're going to call a constraint equation. Constraint is based on whatever number is presented in the problem. Now, this problem states that the volume of the box must be equal to 32,000 cubic centimeters. We know from just basic geometry that the volume of a box is equal to its length times its width times its height. Now, because the box has a square base, we can say that the length and the width are both x, as noted earlier. So we can plug in x. The height we labeled y, so we have the following equation. We can clean it up just a little bit by combining the x's into x squared. This is going to be referred to as our constraint equation. Now, in order to proceed, we're also going to have to come up with an objective equation. The objective equation comes from whatever the question is asking. This question is asking for the dimensions of the box that minimize the amount of material. The amount of material is the key phrase there, because the objective equation is going to be associated with the amount of material. Another phrase for amount of material is surface area, actually. So we need to come up with an equation that involves the surface area of the box. Now, the box has four faces around its, its sides, and the area of each face is, is x multiplied by, by y. And since there's four of those faces, we have 4xy as the expression for the area of the four faces that kind of surround the sides of the box. The top is open, so we don't need to worry about an expression for the surface area there because there's actually no material present. The base of the box is a square, and so the area of that square base can be represented as x squared. So we'll add that on to the previous surface area. So this equation is referred to as the objective equation. And it's really this equation that's important because we're trying to minimize the surface area. Now to minimize an equation, we would have to compute the derivative. But the problem right now is that we have two variables present in the equation. We have x and y. We really don't want that. We want to have just a single variable before we differentiate the equation. So that's where the constraint equation comes in. We can go ahead and solve the constraint equation for y by dividing both sides by x squared. And we're going to take this 32,000 over x squared. We're going to plug it in for the y in our objective equation. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we can simplify this a bit by multiplying the 4 and the 32,000 and also canceling an x in the numerator with an x in the denominator. So we obtain the following. Now before we differentiate, it's going to be helpful to bring the x from the denominator up to the numerator. Remember that when you do that, the power of x will change its sign. So in the denominator right now, it's x raised to the positive one. When we move it to the numerator, it'll be x raised to the negative one. We are now ready to differentiate, differentiate this equation with respect to x. So we can say that we have s a prime, the surface area, the derivative of the surface area. And then we'll use a basic power rule to compute the derivative. Now, to find the minimum value of a function, after differentiating the function, you set it equal to 0 and solve for x. And we'll come over off on the side over here to, to do that. We can add the 128,000 x to the negative 2 to the other side. We can divide both sides by 2. You can actually then divide both sides by x to the negative 2. And finally, if we cube root both sides of this equation, we obtain x equals 40.
Now technically, in order to confirm that this value of x does indeed minimize the surface area, we would have to choose a couple of test values and plug them into the derivative to confirm that this value of x does indeed minimize the function. For example, you could test x equals 30 and x equals 50 and plug them into the derivative over here. And when you plug in x equals 30, you should obtain a negative result. When you plug in x equals 50 into the derivative, you should obtain a positive result. And what that means is that the surface area function decreases on the left side of x equals 40 and increases on the right side of x equals 40. And if we look carefully, we can indeed see that that produces a, a minimum right at x equals 40. So if that's a little confusing, let me know and I'll follow up with some comments. But we can be assured that x equals 40 does indeed minimize the surface area. In order to complete the question, we'll have to figure out what the value of y is, which represents the height of the box. So to do that, we can simply plug 40 in to this equation right here in for x. So let's go ahead and do that and solve for y. And when we do that, we see that y is equal to 20 centimeters. So the final dimensions of the box would be 40 by 40 by 20. And those are all in centimeters.